Hello learners, welcome to Cash Education. In this video, we will study about the regulation of tripoperon by trip tRNA concentration. In my earlier videos, we have looked at the structure of tripoperon and its regulation by the repressor protein. Now, for the tripoperon to be regulated by the trip tRNA, there is a requirement of tRNA that carries tryptophan amino acid. This regulation is studied in two cases, in the presence of tryptophan and in the absence of tryptophan. This is a representation of the tripoperon. Let's zoom in to see the trip L gene or the leader peptide sequence. The trip L gene is divided into four segments of DNA. Segment 1, 2, 3 and 4. Segment 1 contains a unique UGG, UGG sequence that codes for tryptophan amino acid. Segment 4 contains an at site or an attenuation site that is critical for the regulation process. There is a premature stop codon present between segment 1 and segment 2. The sequences of segment 1, 2, 3 and 4 are such that after transcription into their respective mRNAs, they can form alternative RNA structures. Segment 1 and 2 can combine via complementary base pairing forming a hairpin loop structure. Similarly, segment 2 and 3 can combine via complementary base pairing forming a hairpin loop structure. Segment 3 and 4 can combine via complementary base pairing forming a hairpin loop structure. The formation of these three hairpin loop structure conveys specific signal for the transcription of the trip operon genes. Hairpin structure between 1 and 2 conveys the signal for pause of transcription. Segment 2 and 3 conveys the signal for anti-termination of transcription. Hairpin loop structure between segment 3 and 4 conveys the signal for termination of transcription. Let's look at the first case in the absence of tryptophan, meaning there is no tryptophan present in the growth media. Because there is no tryptophan present in the growth media, the trip operator site is free for the binding of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase catalyzes the transcription of the trip L gene and halts at the at site present in the fourth segment. We should not forget that there is a special UGG, UGG sequence which is present in segment 1. Now that the trip L mRNA is ready, the ribosome binds to it and begins translating it. However, it is stopped prematurely because the concentration of tryptophan is low in the media. Therefore, the concentration of the tRNA carrying tryptophan will also be low in the media. This gives enough time for segments 2 and 3 to combine together via complementary base pairing forming the hyphen loop structure. This hairpin loop structure conveys the signal for anti-termination of transcription. This allows RNA polymerase to bypass the at site and carry out the transcription of the trip operon structural genes. Thus, in the absence of tryptophan, the genes are transcribed, proteins are made and thus the trip operon is switched on. Let's look at the other case in the presence of tryptophan. RNA polymerase will bind at the operator site and begin transcribing the trip L gene. RNA polymerase then halts at the at site in segment 4. Ribosome now binds at the first segment of the trip L mRNA, begin to translating it. Now that the concentration of the tryptophan is high in the media, therefore the concentration of the trip RNA tRNA will also be high. This allows ribosome to smoothly catalyze the translation of the trip L mRNA. This gives time for segments 3 and 4 to combine together via complementary base pairing forming the hairpin loop structure. The hairpin loop structure between 3 and 4 conveys the signal for termination of transcription allowing RNA polymerase to detach and fall off the site. Thus, in the presence of tryptophan in the media, the genes are not transcribed, the proteins are not expressed and the operon is therefore switched on. 
This is how the tryptophan operon is regulated by the concentration of trypti RNA. This is all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. See you again next time. Thank you.